just want to share a quick word from John 6 verse 37 and it says this however those the father has given me will come to me and I will never reject them and I want to focus on I will never reject them that is a really powerful statement from Jesus there and I really want to home in on that because we go through a lot of different things in our life I, I have experienced personal rejection in my life. Time to time, you know, relationships and all different kind of things, you experience rejection. You, you go someplace, you don't feel like you're really wanted, you're not really desired. These things happen and sometimes in your own experience, there are people that you say, well, I really don't want to deal with you. And we have our reasons why we reject persons or why we are rejected by people reasons for these things are, are always are always there um but when jesus says i will never reject you and especially in in, in the circumstances that surrounded why he said that there people are there and they were he just fed the, the um the, the, the five thousand and people wanted to take him away as king and Jesus, in the middle of the crowd, felt, in a sense, well, you know, all these people want me for is to get bread. They don't get me. They, they, they want what I can give them, but they, they, they don't want me. They, want, they don't want me. They, they, they're looking for someone that can carry them someplace that I, I really don't want to go. It's something that I really don't want to do. And, and so... Jesus was in in, in, a, in a, a situation. He des, and he declared, "I am the bread of life." And when he said that, and he's saying, "I will never reject you. I'm the bread of life, and I will never reject you. I'm here to take care of you, but not quite in the way that you uh, you want to be taken care of. I want to take care of you in a in a different way. Yes, I will take care of your physical needs if you have physical needs, but." I want to touch you spiritually as well. I want to, to make you spiritually whole. I want, to be, I want you to be spiritually filled as well. And all at the end of Jesus saying, I am the bread of life. And after the end of saying, I will never reject you. They reject him. They reject him. And he has to turn to his 12 disciples and say, Will you also go away? Will you also go away? You know, many times we, we, in life we, we, we talk about Jesus and we talk about God and, and we know very well what um, God stands for, what Jesus stands for. And we have this kind of, you know, this kind of, debate about different things but it is interesting that jesus says i will never reject you rejected by other people but not by jesus not by jesus i know in this time of social distancing and people trying to find one way or another to stay connected it's a blessing to know that we are never rejected by Jesus. Jesus said, I will never reject you. Those who come to me, I will not reject. If you go to Jesus, if you come to Jesus today, he will not reject you. He will never say no to you. He wants you. He desires you. He wants to be with you. We are not alone. Maybe someone listening to me or seeing me may say, well, I feel alone. I don't feel like anybody wants me. I feel rejected by the world. I feel let down. But Jesus is saying, no, I will never reject you. If you come to me, I will not reject you. I will embrace you. I will receive you. I want to take care of you. I want to show you love. I want to show you care. I want to show you what I have in store for you. 
Jesus will never reject you. Jesus will never reject you. Claim that today. Have a wonderful day. Enjoy your time. And walk good. <laughs>